This is a response to Happy Cabby's video where he says he doesn't see the difference between burning a Quran and drawing Muhammad. I know many here on YouTube have come out against Pastor Terry Jones, but honestly, is his protest any different than the one the atheists had back in April or May? Both are highly offensive to Muslims. Both celebrate the right of free speech. So what is the difference? I'll take the second part first. Both do not celebrate free speech. Book burning is protected by free speech, but it is not a celebration of free speech. Book burning is, in fact, a symbolic act of censorship. Well, you could say that you're exercising your right to free speech by burning a book, but that's because free speech even protects your right to advocate censorship. Are both burning a Quran and drawing Muhammad offensive to Muslims? Well, let's remember not to paint all Muslims with the same brush. There are many who don't find it either offensive, but many of them do. Sometimes when you exercise free speech, you offend people. For example, here's all it takes to offend some Christians. If you don't believe in God, we're letting them know they're not alone, that there's other people in this area like them. I am offended by it because that is attacking somebody's belief. I've always believed in God, and um, I really don't like it. Here's something that offends me. Draw Muhammad Day had its roots in the Danish cartoon incident back in 2005. Ironically, the reason the cartoons were published was because of an article about self-censorship due to worries about being attacked by radical Muslims who were not moderate or progressive. At this time, Theo van Gogh had already been murdered by a non-moderate Muslim. There's a link in the description to an article in Wikipedia, which is the most reliable source on the internet. <laughs> Several of the cartoonists had to go into hiding after death threats and reward offers for killing them were made. Carried into the courthouse on a stretcher, his face covered to conceal his identity. This is the man police say tried to murder Danish cartoonist Kurt Westergaard. The 28-year-old Somali, a legal resident in Denmark, broke into Westergaard's home last night wielding an axe and a knife and shouting he wanted to kill him. The cartoonist and his five-year-old granddaughter were able to take shelter in a specially secured bathroom. When the police arrived two minutes later, the would-be killer attacked them, too. Police shot him in the knee to stop him. Five years ago, a Danish newspaper commissioned a dozen cartoons depicting the Prophet Muhammad. Kurt Westergaard drew an image of the Prophet with his turban shaped as a bomb. The publication of the cartoons provoked outrage. Attacks on Danish embassies, riots which killed dozens, and a boycott of Danish products. In 2008, Osama bin Laden warned that Europe and Denmark would be punished. Westergaard came out of hiding last year in spite of the million dollar price Islamic militants put on his head. He's been under close police protection ever since. That wasn't enough. 
In 2005, Matt and Trey of South Park tried to show the image of Muhammad, but Comedy Central, Viacom, self-censored the episode. Link in the description. South Park has commented on every institution and religion, including Scientology, which is highly litigious. So is this free speech? Can we criticize anything but Islam because there are nutcases who will kill you if you do? This is very frustrating. Obviously, the thing for us to do is to treat Islam equally rather than give in to intimidation. But what can we do? We don't own a network or a newspaper. And we began by talking about the decision of many media outlets, including CNN, to pixelate the images of Muhammad. Now, I know, as well as you do, that you have not done that in order to avoid sparing the hurt feelings of my uh, fellow guest. You've done it because you're afraid of retaliation and of intimidation. Now, I, I'd like to ask him and anyone else who agrees with him is watching, is that the relationship they want to have with the free press? Because if we have to use this stupid word offensive, those of us who believe in the Enlightenment and the Constitution and the First Amendment are very much offended by this mad babyish conduct. But we Only a handful of newspapers in the U.S. ran the pictures. Was it because they didn't want to offend? or because they were afraid of retaliation. In 2010, Matt and Trey made another go of it. Yeah, yeah, so a bunch of people who don't like being ripped on, basically yeah. suing South Park, saying you gotta stop ripping on us. Yeah. You know, Not you that far from reality. Yeah, no, I mean, if they could join forces, they probably would. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad in this episode? We're, gonna, we're definitely going to get on that issue. I mean, I think we're, if, we, they let us show, we would, if they would let us show it, that would be great. No, wait, do you, so are they still, there's a ban on well, showing? Well, no, but this is why it's so interesting, because we're just basically, now we're just getting it. Basically, right. they just heard today that we're going to do it again. So now we're just going to enter this whole thing like we did back then. We're going to enter this whole thing where day by day, we'll they're going to be like, what are you doing? Tuesday and we're like, night, we're doing this. Night. And we're like, okay, what about this? You know? Yeah. And then, so it's just, we're going to do that whole thing over again. You're picking the exact know. same right. fight. Yeah, well, yeah, we're just having fun with the same fight. It's not the, you know, yeah. it's not the... It, no, I'm not saying you're redoing the episode, but right. you guys aren't afraid oh, no. to pick at an old scab. No, because that's what we're doing. Okay, we're 200 shows now, so now <laughs> now what? Now what about this? <laughs> it's just like, it was, like, it was a fun way to cel celebrate all these, like, moments, yeah. and it felt like we could do all this stuff and then do new jokes that we kind of... new yeah. versions of things and new jokes and have more fun. So it's not... Yeah, it's like a, it's not a clip show because there's no clips of old stuff in it. Stan, finally, in this episode, he says... I've met him. I met him a long time ago. Because we had an episode a long time ago where he met Muhammad before all this stuff happened. Yeah, well, it still airs all the time. Yeah, and it still airs. It's Super Best Friends. Time. It's in the episode Super Best Friends. I don't know what, what season that is. Five. It was before the Danish cartoon controversy. So it somehow is fine. And then after that, now that's the new normal. Mm -hmm. Like we lost. Like we lost. You know what I mean? Something that was okay is now not okay. And that's just... Up. Are you afraid that if the network allows you to unveil the Prophet Muhammad, that you will be bombed? We don't want. We'd be so hypocritical against our own mess, our own thoughts, if we said, "Okay, well, let's never not make fun of them because they might hurt us." Like that's that's messed up to have that kind of thought process. You know, okay, well, we'll rip on the Catholics because they won't hurt us, but we won't rip on them because they might hurt us. Like that's that's well, not the so way. So sad. The whole the whole Muhammad, the whole Danish cartoon thing. It's yeah. like. If everyone would have just, like normally they do in the news organizations, just printed the cartoons, right? Everyone no would one rally together. Now that guy has to be hiding and all this shit because no, everyone kind of left him out to dry. That's a big problem when you have like the New York Times and Comedy Central and Viacom put basically just pussing out on it. Sorry to say, it's just sad. It's just sad. I was like really sad about that. The episode was a two-parter. The first part of the show was self-censored. Before the second part was shown. The news came out about the website, which issued thinly veiled death threats and listed names and addresses. I'm sure this wasn't the first death threats that they had received over the years. The second half of the episode was heavily self-censored. Muhammad's name was bleeped, and the final two-minute speech was completely bleeped out. These two episodes are the only ones never put on South Park's uh, website, South Park Studios, and will not be re-ran. Clearly, this was not a good day for free speech. Sure, the government can't censor us, but big media can be intimidated. All right, 
I don't think it was that bad. They have really pushed the envelope on other things, as you're well aware of. And this was very, very mild. But you wouldn't have advised them not. See, I would have advised them not to do it. If somebody came to me and said, look, O'Reilly, I want to do a little satire on Mohammed, on the factor, I would say, I don't think so. I, because the risk is, is higher than the reward. Now, well, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm a coward. It would be to me, but yeah, it maybe might I'm not a coward, be to them. But I would say, and, and I hate to give in to the intimidating forces of evil, Right. Which is what the jihad is. And that's is. what they said, too. In their right. You don't want to give in to the intimidating forces no. of evil. But you got to deal with reality. And these people are killers. And they will kill you. No one who supports risking the lives of soldiers in Iraq or Afghanistan should censor one comment out of fear of retaliation. This was the frustration that led to Draw Muhammad Day. Rather than doing the right thing and standing together against intimidation, big media caved. And that's why, when Draw Muhammad Day came along, a lot of us jumped on it. Sure, some people did it to offend, and that's their right. But people like me did it to show that you can't shut up everyone by intimidation. Sure, it was easy for us because we were anonymous, but that's a good thing. I honestly cannot see any difference between burning a Koran and drawing Muhammad. The only reason I can find for so many here on YouTube being against it is because it is a Christian pastor instead of an atheist promoting it. Okay, now I'm offended. I saw nothing productive in uploading content to the internet solely for the purpose of upsetting Muslims. I was repeatedly reminded that this is not about upsetting people, but rather this is about preserving free speech. On May 20th, I had my own little celebration of Draw Muhammad Day. Instead of uploading something just to offend, I... Happy Cabby seems to be convinced the sole purpose of Draw Muhammad Day was to offend. I doubt telling him one more time will help, but I'll do it anyway. Major news outlets are afraid to show images of Muhammad. Islam cannot be satirized on networks like everything else. At least on the internet, we can demonstrate that we can speak out. Maybe someday we'll get back some of the free speech that we lost. And finally, here's one last clip of an attack on the media. Texas rat snakes are going to be one of the largest snakes that you find in the Metroplex area. <laughs> 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 